out here in the shop today working on the c10 doing a little update uh, a lot of work's got done that hasn't been recorded just little piddly stuff got the new steering wheel on it got some trim put on it gas tank reinstalled um, right now we're trying to get the rest of the stuff put on the motor so maybe we can break the cam in today got the fuel line run it's temporary we're going to get one of the fittings that come down underneath because that doesn't look very good um, all the heater hoses are hooked up now we're just looking for some little plumbing pieces for the vacuum lines and stuff like that and then maybe we'll hear this thing start up today try this again haven't done anything to the motor but we did find that one of the starter wires was on the wrong spot and it was trying to melt some wiring so we got that fixed we think and we're going to try it again i'm going to hang on to this one yep start to jump in try that it's pumping fuel. I'm too dang short to see over the wires not getting hot. It would be getting hot. Alright, gonna try again. Maybe there's some lifters that aren't quite set right or they're not pumped up. So they either need to bolt the valve covers on or take them off.
Dead on three. Number three? No, it's dead on three. Three cylinders. Three cylinders. That's the valve. And it's got oil pouring out of something. Still running out? Mm -hmm. Well, the heater works. Okay, it's been a few days. Uh, if you've seen whenever we were trying to fire this thing up, we got it running, but it's not running well. I uh, found out that number two, four, and six have next to no compression. So I'm not really sure what that means. Um, uh, we have, this has new heads on it, so maybe the head is bad, but, uh, yeah, so this is stopped for now until we can get the heads torn off and take a look at those. Also, we'll update on the Suburban. The Suburban is just sitting out here, not getting driven. I put about a hundred miles on it. Um, after we got the motor in it drives good but the motor which was supposed to be good from the salvage yard guaranteed is uh, not as good as as they said it makes a weird squeaking sound when it gets warm I got a clip I'll put in cold it smokes so they don't want to replace the motor so they sent us some parts to try to fix it though so the next part video you'll see on this we'll be pulling the motor back out to basically rebuild it but I just wanted to film a little update on what's going on in the shop so both the projects are not doing well I mean, it should still start and run maybe a bit of a misfire kind of flutters and pops through the exhaust so I'm thinking that maybe one of the lobes on the cam is gone or something on it or one of the lifters isn't rolling and it's eating the cam so we'll tear it down and take a look at it we do have other projects also that could work on just depends on what you guys want to see let us know what you want to see in the comments down below this is a 2004 or 5 I think uh, Sea Doo RXP. It's got the 215 horsepower uh, four stroke supercharged motor in it. And the reason we got this is because after building the first Jet John, it was pretty fun, so we wanted to do a bigger one, better one. So ignore this boat, it's kind of garbage. But I've got this boat here that's a fully welded aluminum boat. I took it out one time with the trolling motors to see how many leaks it had, and it didn't have any. So it seems like a perfect candidate to cut a massive hole in. But this boat's uh, 13 and a half feet long, so it should be pretty good with a motor like that in it. But if you want to see something like that, this is next on the list of projects once I get the Suburban fixed. We also have this, which is a Avalanche, which we bought for the motor and transmission, because if you remember from long time ago in the videos we have a square body suburban four-wheel drive um, that has been sitting for a long time with no motor in it and that's what this is for so we're gonna be doing an LS swap on that if you want to see that uh, let us know we'll move around the priority of our projects maybe to get out what you guys want to see but for now I just want to say thanks for watching make sure you like and subscribe and we'll try to keep the videos coming